Yes, Fancy Dragon, you may press the button. <laughs> um, welcome back to the Ace Attorney Trilogy! We're continuing justice for all. We're going into what is universally believed to be one of the worst ga games. The worst cases. Oh, what was so game. funny? It's just, you go... <laughs> it's cute, but funny. Alright, here we go, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. Prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight. The world's greatest magician, the one, the only, Maximilian Galactica. He's flying. No, he disappeared. And now for the murder. <laughs> I'm sorry. What the fuck is that circus called? Very big. It's the very big circus. I'm very sure they did a very good job naming that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they did. Well, yeah, it, it, it's it's named after the owner. His surname is Barry. Original. Let's see if we can make him white a little. <laughs> ah, Pearl. Hello, hi. Wow, that was like being in a dream. Yet. How are you speaking then? <laughs> that was amazing! Wasn't it, Pearly? It was great! There was a dancing bear! I'm sorry, no, hold on. I'm just reminded of playing Katsumahari the way you just said bear. Sometimes, but she's like eight years old. Nine. No, well, she's eight. She said nine in the last one. I always seem to remember like the age of them when they're in the fucking other game. She's eight in this one. She's nine in Trials and Tribulations. I forget these things, honey. Yeah, Max Galactica. He was absolutely fabulous! <sighs> She's 18 now, she can play all she likes. Huh? What? Max? Max Galactica, the world's greatest magician! A ma magician? You're eight years old, you should know this, I'm sorry. I'm I've been sheltered all my life! I don't know what a magic kitchen is. No, a, a magician. Um, Mr. Nick. Oh, I'm here. Huh, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> what? Who do you think paid for the fucking tickets? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Maya was going to do the one, like, you know spirit call spirit channeling thing she wouldn't have the money to fucking pay for tickets to the circus well, well what is it pearls does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits channeling you don't know about magic do you pearls i'm sorry i was sheltered my whole life 
I'll try not to predict my uh, lines this time. Yeah, I'll try. Just give yourself a second after you press the A button. <laughs> no. <laughs> I braved the winter cold and took pearls to see the circus. It's been six months since that terrible incident in Karang Village. And it was during that trying time that I met Pearls. I think this is now after Phoenix got smacked in the Swede. Yeah. Yeah. Thankfully, she seems to be recovering from it and is returning to her normal self. My mummy's in jail. Ah. It's time to go. You're right. We can't miss the last train. Pearls, do you remember the train? She couldn't say train before. Ah. Because she'd ne she's never known what a train is. <laughs> of course I did! But I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. Well, Nick, see you later! <laughs> I'll come by to help you in the office. It's gonna be spotless for the new year. Don't worry about it, really. You're going to visit Mr. Nick on New Year's? Maybe. Oh, don't get on it, yeah. I'm glad you'll get to spend your New Year's with your special software. Not again! Bobby! Look! It's time to go! We will go now! Come, child! Off we go! Happy New Year, Mr. Nick! Happy New Year. I really hope it will turn out that way. Unlikely, unlikely, Nick, unlikely. This is your life, Nick. It won't. Well, today wraps it up for this year. I hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Hello, this is the right. Nick, it's so terrible. All right, Maya, settle down. Yeah, Maya, perfect timing. Things are terrible here too. Huh? The office is a terrible mess and I have to clean it up. What are you talking about? Um, my dirty office? What are you talking about? Listen, Nick! You have to turn on the TV! Now! Now let's check in at the scene. Ah, huh. what happened? Thank you. We're here at the very big circus. Uh... The very big circus has become the centre of a sensational murder. Not what I the scene has created quite a stir amongst the throngs of excited onlookers. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the very, I mean, the very big circus. That's the circus we went to, right? Yes, it is! They're saying that there was a murder? Yeah! They arrested him too! Who? A arrested who? Max! Max! They arrested Max Galactica! Maximilian Galactica. I'm going to Max. Pop the magician to fly to the sky at will. Maya says she was a huge fan of Max. Oh, She's a huge fan of- Oh my god. She's a huge fan of everyone. Oh, this is the fucking pretty boy set up please don't say- Oh. <laughs> You're missing Will Powers, aren't you? Alrighty! I'll see you in two hours at the detention centre! We're defending oh, this man! What? See you there! You still got plenty of time to clean out your office later! Will you stop screaming?! What is the plant doing? Charlie. 
quite sick of that. I wouldn't like this whole cleaning this place up. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Sake me. Right, well, I guess we're gonna find Screechy McGee. What are they talking about? Why did they arrest Max? Calm the fuck down. Now! Ooh. You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he used his magical skills to deal death with a sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing! And how the fuck do you know? You don't know him! I'm a fangirl! I think the best of all of my celebrities! Fabulous! No, what no, the young no. lady just said was absolutely fabulous! <sighs> what a clever girl! Such a fabulous understanding of events! Talk. Oh, great. I'm not gonna like him. <laughs> I'm not gonna like him. I DON'T LIKE YOU ALREADY! Welcome to the visitor's room! It's the detention center. I've been here before. I am a lawyer. Don't throw things at me. I get enough of that in the courtroom. It's alright, we've got a pane of glass. You'll just have to pick the cards up again and lob them under the glass again. Yes, it's just... Why don't you go in the corner and play 52 card pick up? <laughs> Maximilian Galactica. Will you calm down? It's a person! He's got his shirt off, Nick. No. Alright, sweetie. Pick a card. Any card. <laughs> he called me sweetie. Oh, Nick. Ah uh ha -huh. Time's running out, sweetie. Pick a card. Any card. I guess I can reach through the glass. Uh -huh. no, there's no glass. I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. The Ace of Hearts! Ah! He got it! He got it! Nick, look! He got it! Never put poetry the same or always counter them. What can I say, sweetie? You've stolen one of my most valued possessions. What of Maximilian Galactica's hearts? You don't even know how old she is, Max, please. I, I know she is legal, but still. Chill. Chill, pretty boy. Chill. Max, oh. Dragon is looking at me with the most annoyed, dead look. Yeah, I told you, no one likes this case, but it's not because of just this. If I find something better in this case than him, I swear to God. <laughs> well, we all have to see, won't you? Well, time to make this an absolutely fabulous time. Max, you should let Nick pick a card. Yeah, I don't want to steal one of his hearts. <laughs> Yeah, you already stole Edward. And you are. Oh, how silly of me. You must be Sweetie's driver. Let me guess. Are you thinking he can defend himself now? Fuck you! Dishonor on you! Dishonor on you, cow! Defend yourself! Go for it! I'm out! I'm out! Fuck this shit, I'm out! Mm hmm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. All right then. Don't mind me, I'm gonna just grab myself and leave. Her driver. Whatever, hurry up and pick a card, any card. Um, I wanna talk. So, sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Yes, I'm your biggest fan. I have nothing to say about this man, other than the fact that he is a big old dick. Mm. Put the ceramic dick away. Just press the fucking A button. Whoa! Fabulous! A 
absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much. Hey, um, what about my flower? Think of it as a souvenir. Well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work. What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking at the ceiling? Because I think this guy can jog on. Because I think he's an absolute waste of oxygen. Nick, because you I know you have to defend my celebrity crushes. It's how it works. I look the other way at your obsession of Edgeworth. You defend my obsessions. That's what friends are for! I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. Sweetie, drop porcupine head over there. Shower me with your attention, okay? Ah! Attention seeking whore. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, oh, yes. Now are you beginning to understand, Maya? Absolutely fabulous! Stop throwing cards, please! Asshole. Absolutely cringe inducing! The writers got something right. Well, I guess we Right, might. let's fuck off then. <laughs> right, bye bye. <laughs> right, let's come down the office. <laughs> See you in an hour! My <laughs> guess. I don't have time to sit, it's unusually clean. A poster of the newest member of the Steel Samurai universe. Maya went out and bought it right away. She's a sucker for all things Steel Samurai. I hear they're even giving the new guy his own movie. I just know Maya's going to drag me out to see it with her. <laughs> Difficult looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. I wouldn't mind dumping some of these off at a used bookstore, but that might not be such a good idea. Well, yeah, that would me is she'll come, she'll channel through her sister and tell you to leave her shut fucking alone. There's a giant building just outside the window. Yeah, the Gatewater Hotel. It's the Gatewater Hotel. A high-class luxury hotel. Until recently, it had been a normal business class hotel. Yeah, now they want to stare through your window, Nick. Da da. <sighs> Come on, back da, to the descent detention center. Mai's waiting for us. You gotta talk to him. Uh, Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit more about yourself. Fabulous! I think we should get to know each other better too. How old is he? Okay, not that bad. He's only a tiny bit older than her. It's like someone who's just gone to university dating someone who's like near graduating. It's not too bad. Damn, I wish I could be a famous magician at 21, but here I am, a fucking asshole at 26. I'm old. I love you, my sweetums. Why are you looking at me that way? Shall I get back to my lines, dear? Why don't you come sit next to me? No. Um, there's a big piece of security glass between us. I told you, there is glass! How are we done pick a card? There must be a slip at the bottom. Oh, sweet genius, what in the world? If only I could use magic, then I could make this wall disappear. Anyways, lately you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? That's Maximilian to you, porcupine head. Get it straight. Right, Max. Buddy. That's what I was saying. Max, buddy, shut up. Jeez, people nowadays are just a bunch over nothing. Anyway, Maximilian, you won a very pretty, prestigious award recently, didn't you? I did indeed! It was fabulous! 
I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. Uh -huh. Yes. It's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabuloso of fabulous world magicians. There was a trophy and a bust. It was a fab... I mean, it was an amazing day. Oh, good. You expanded your vocabulary, yeah. Max. <laughs> wow, that's incredible! Isn't it? I'm certifiably the greatest magician in the world. Do you have to chew so loudly? It's very... Yeah, it sounds like your voice. It's very unfabulous. So are you. Sorry for anyone that doesn't like chewing noises. I'm going to guess he didn't win a trophy for most modest magician. Signed to an exclusive contract with Barry Big, with the Barry Big Circus, correct? That's the long and short of it. You sure do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. You just can't watch a magician on TV, you know. Magic is so fabulous. You have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right. You are so right. However, the circus—it's a dinosaur, a thing of the past. Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on there. Huh? What do you mean? Exactly what he said, Maya. Exactly what he said. That's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract? Thanks to me, the very big circus is a fabulous is fabulously popular. People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of the magic of Max Galactica. I revived the dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? You're so full of yourself. Oh, yeah. Y yes. I made all, all the old Crossy Circus performers obsolete. Performances. Performances, sorry. I made all the old Crossy Circus performances obsolete. I kind of like the circus performances. Maya looks a bit down. The asphalt there is, is uh, really making her feel bad. Well, yeah, it's like Maya comes from like a town that's very isolated. So her seeing anything from the circus to like TV shows and like the Steel Samurai, which is pretty much the Power Rangers of this universe, and then like any anime or anything, she's going to be super into that. Tell me what happened at the very big circus. Ah, last night. The ringmaster was murdered. The ringmaster? You mean Russell Berry? Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over on the ground. Even though it was the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. Are you aware they've arrested you for this? I don't know. The police questioned me at length. Questioned you about what? About everything. I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was murdered. I saw him last evening in his room. So then, why were you arrested? Arrested? Don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult with me on matters, that's all. You've been arrested. There's no other reason why you're here. Nick, I don't think Max understands how serious this is. You're right. I think I should shock him back to reality. Before the murder, you met with the ringmaster. Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Why would you please ask him? And what did you talk about with the ringmaster, Max? It was nothing. Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. Salary? 
I am the one bringing in the crowds. I think that I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Y yes that... Oh, that's you? Sorry. That's all you talked about? Of course! It was a fabulous chat. Just fabulous. I mean, ah! No, it's not me saying it. What's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. You look bent out of fucking shape. Okay, so um, I know exactly what we need to do. I'm an attorney. Badge. Is it used in a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. An attorney? Then why are you wasting your time talking to me? He isn't wasting his time, Max! You're... Okay, okay, relax, sweetie. You're just a little over-anxious, I think. <laughs> Anyways, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with a sad, with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? Because you've been arrested for murder! Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. Why is that? Obviously, because I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica. They arrested Will Powers. They don't care about this shit. No. So? I'm a, I'm the very big star of the very big circus. And that means? I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? Max. Quit joking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. You wish. The police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. Oh! Look at Max, he's crushed. About fucking time. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. This is serious business. Um, um. Yes? Fuck you, I mean, sir, you're a lawyer, right? Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm an attorney. Please, please help me, I didn't kill nobody! I'll fix it in a minute! Did, did, didn't kill nobody. <laughs> There's this real voice. I may be more spoiled than a hog and a hamburger mud pit! He's like Lotta! No! <laughs> I'm a sweet southern boy, I'm just putting on all this uh, old pretty voice so people like me more. But a killer? That's insane! I, I, I could never! M Max? I swear! I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt! He's back on the farm! He's like Lana. Okay, okay, I'll take your case. Really? Really? Uh, thank you much. Y'all sure are nice folks. Thanks. Um, Max? Yes? What's your real name? It's Billy Bob Jones. <laughs> sure thing will help you, Billy Bob. <laughs> He's really just a country bumpkin. Yeah. <sighs> um, I must.
must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Huh? Mr. Attorney? Yeah. <laughs> what? You kind of guessed your line again. A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Yes. Um, now you mentioned that, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? What? I think you got it right again. What can I say? You too. You've stolen some of my most valued possessions. Yeah. Ten of Maximilian Galacticus Hearts. Don't you? <laughs> I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. Who the fuck are you talking to now? You, porcupine head. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? I did. Alright! Let's make this an absolutely fabulous case! Come on, Nick! We'll fix his cyclops later. We have no evidence to show him yet. We have exactly. Which is why I was gonna move. We're here again. Yep. But this time we're here for work. It hasn't been that long since the time, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. Look, look, it's Max! Ah, don't start. He's blind. Even when you don't want to see him, poof, he's right in front of you. Still, the sun's a very big sucker. But looking around, it might as well be. Surf du Galactica. Surf du Galactica. <sighs> the stars in his cheeks sure are dreamy. How about I draw a star in your cheek, Nick? I've got a marker. Where the fuck Come you get, here. Where the fuck you get that? And no. Come here, Nick. Nah, nah. It's all right. But Nick, you all look pretty. Well, no clues here. <laughs> Not unusual here. So the streamers do a nice job introducing the circus performers. Thanks to Millie Galactica and his comical comrades. You know, you don't really see too many streamers nowadays, do you? You're right, we haven't seen one in ages. I bet they stopped using them due to little kids climbing up to the top. Um, I don't think that was why. Hmm, this door must lead to the lodging house. No entry to unauthorized personnel. Do you really need to say no entry if no one's actually en entering? It's almost like a zen riddle, isn't it, Nick? Uh, no. I'm not even going to justify that question with a response. I bet all of the stars say stay at that lodging house. This is the box office where they sell the tickets for the circus. They also sell programs. I forgot to buy one when we came to the circus last time. So why don't you buy one now? Hmm, sounds like a plan. Oh no, it looks like I forgot my wallet. You want me to buy it for you? Just ask me already. You know I'd never do that to you, Nick. Uh-huh. Snack stand. They have hot dogs, hams, burgers and drinks. Not to mention... Candy and popcorn. They've even got snow cones! Who would eat snow cones in the middle of winter? Nick, do you think we can buy some snow cones? I stand corrected. Look around, there's tons of snow piled up all around here. Yay! Wait, wait a second, there's no syrup though! I want syrup! Hopefully she doesn't notice that this color snow in the corner, that's not syrup. <laughs> the very big top is so... very... <coughs> enormous! Yep, one look at that huge tent in the opening and you realise this is the circus. 
I know, I know. It really gets your blood pumping, doesn't it? Meh. How rude of you. Nick, the entrance is right here. Really? Didn't notice this. Fine. The circus is closed today. No clowns, no elephants, no shows. I know that! Nick, you can get your picture taken with Dolly the elephant. There's no Dolly. Not today. I know that too! Oh well. I'll just have to take a picture with whoever I stumble across. It's not like we're here on business or anything. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go elsewhere. Um, where do you want to go? The big top or the lodging house? We are going to the big top. This, where? Well, the circus stage sure doesn't look small from out in the audience. The small amount in the audience. Well, this is where they all perform, isn't it? Yup. Nick, do some somersaults. No, I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? It's the hair. <laughs> huh? Nick? Wasn't me. during the show. We're planning for me to start coming out of the line during the show. That's great, Regina. Yeah, I will ride on Regan's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. I want to try it too! I'll ride on Nick's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. Sometimes I wonder about this girl. 
Ah, a ladder! It's in every game. It's just a step ladder. What's the difference? They do the same thing, right? I think you should stick with the basic facts of the matter. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, it's a rope! Only for tyro walking. It's a bit strange. There weren't any tyro walkers in the show when we saw it. Lights are huge. I love lights. Why? Whenever I appear into the spotlight, everyone claps for me. Uh, that's because everyone knows that you're cute. I'm sixteen. Regina! Mm, Nick. He's no hero, is he? Ouch. Thanks a lot, Maya. I think that's... Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. The banner. There you go. The seats are kind of far away, don't you think? He's right. We can fit 500 people into a show. 500? That's amazing. Find a round above that many people is a real rush. At least that's what Max said. Boxes. You know, I've been meaning to ask you. What exactly do you mean when you say clue? What are you looking for? Chainsaw, for instance. Well, there's definitely not one of those here. I think that's everything. Hey, Regina. What do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? My dad was murdered. Oh, I see. Wait, what did she just say? So the ringmaster was your... I don't think the music stopped. Yeah, just... Yep, the ringmaster was my dad. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. Why do you say you're sorry? Huh? Anyways, everyone was here practicing last night. Even your dad? Yes, everyone was here. We finished up around 10 p.m. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, Dad was dead. That's incredible that you're an animal tamer. If you say so. It has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regent isn't scary. He's cute. Mm -hmm. Ever since Liam died, Regent has been my best friend. Probably. Liam? Yes. 
Leo the lion. You know what? Leo the lion. Interesting name choices. Leo the... He died? Yes. Actually, he was killed. My dad killed him. What? Why did he do that? I'm not sure why he did it. Wait, wait, we want to know more about her dad, right? We can present profiles, remember? <laughs> Hello! After practice was over, dad went right back to his room. His room? Yes. That door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Hmm. I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. You could ask her about Max. Yeah, it's one of the new features. So. It's Max. Hey, where is Max now, anyways? You, you don't know? No. Nope. He's been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. It's okay! Nick and I will help him! Max isn't the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal? Of course he's not. I'm worried about so many things right now. Hmm. Like what? Regina, what's the matter? What's on your mind? I'll tell you, Maya, but just you. Ah. Um, well, you have said that you're very, very, very good. What? Really? And then. That's incredible, Regina! Come on, Nick! There's no reason to pout! Don't worry about me. Regina told me that someone professed their love to her. P professed their love?! Not only that, it was Maximilian Galactica! And then, on the exact same day, another person professed their love for her as well! Someone named Trilo. Apparently, he's a tenor who sings in the circus. Regina says Regina seems to be quite the hit with the men in the circus. You're not kidding. Two people in one day? Woo! Even I want to profess my love for her. Sixteen. No. <laughs> nope. Let's go. Yeah, let's head to the ringmaster's room. Yeah. The funny thing down. is, you see those like some of those posts in the background. I swear one of them looks faintly like Edgeworth, but it's obviously not him. Which one? It must be a Max, but it looks yeah, it is Max, sorry. Yeah. It's just. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Right, anyway. So this was the ringmaster's room. Yes, this room belonged to the victim. Which means there must, this must be where Max met the ringmaster last night. Mm. Now that you mention it, that is what he said. Well, yeah, if you've forgotten so quickly. Jeez. I wonder what. Hmm. That's an interesting poster. Ah! It's a poster of Max. I want it! I want it! Nick! I want it! I want to get out of here! Yeah, that's probably the best thing. It's a deal with the guests. There are some papers scattered on top. Ah! Look at this! 
Max's salary is written on this piece of paper. Yeah! What is it? I didn't know that a magician. This salary is incredible. You know, so she's about ready to pass out from shock. How much is it? How much is it? Was it that much? Incredible, huh? You can say that again. This must be the paper they used to negotiate Max's salary. The ringmaster signed and dated it. What's the matter, Nick? Mike's definitely got a raise, but this document is dated a week ago. Hmm. So he's got a raise, but then it's sort of like... He then, then doesn't have a motive, in a sense, if he did get a raise, unless he wanted even more money. But then why did he meet the ringmaster last night to discuss his salary? Yeah. If he got a raise a week ago. Maybe he wanted more. This is the ability to see him. Ew, there's mud caked on the table. Someone with terrible manners would put their shoes up on the table. Nick, don't even think about it. I wasn't. How good do you think I am anyways? Nick, look at all the cute trophies. Indeed, just look at all the awards the circus has won. Like, all county quiz champions. Ring Masters Association Mini Golf Master, Beer Belly Balloon Bounce Champ, Pet Grooming Grand Prix. Wow, the Ring Master was multi talented in ways I could never imagined. Oh my good lord. Hmm. This is strange. Everything else looks nice, but this desk looks old and cheap. There's a really big photo on the desk. It's a picture of Regina and her father, the ringmaster. He really loved her, didn't he? Regina was lucky to have such a wonderful father. They're right in a sense. It doesn't make sense. This is where the ringmaster applied his makeup and bananas. That's not a banana. He had to apply his own moustache. It's the moustache. I mean, oh look. Gosh. Oh my god. Why? Okay, I guess he... And then look at it again. It's his fucking moustache. Well, it's a collection of the most understated colours. Shocking pink, for example. This one says it is 100% all natural organic mascara. And this one says, sensitive enough for a baby, strong enough for a mime. The ringmaster must have been really concerned about skincare. Very metrosexual. What does metrosexual mean? I don't know. Relating to or denoting men who live in urban areas and enjoy shopping, fashion and similar interests traditionally associated with women or gay men. A man who lives in an urban area and enjoys shopping, fashion, and similar interests traditionally is... Yeah. Okay. So pretty much someone who comes across as kind of gay, but isn't gay. Yeah. There's a lot of posters here, don't you think? There are indeed. So many posters that they aren't likely to miss one, are they? I know, we're supposed to be the honest ones around here. But, but, you didn't even notice that I took one. Ah, uh, sure he swiped one? <laughs> You're incorrigible, you know that? I'm sure it'll be important later. Look at all the stars on this poster. This has been the poster they used to promote their public appearances. Posters are the way to go, aren't they? What do you mean? We should make posters to promote our law firm! Spine-tingling legal action, mind-numbing legalese, you will say wow. Or perhaps, hold it! Don't miss out on a stunning life or death courtroom thrill ride! With those taglines, our law firm will sink faster than the Titanic! not know this but they call this a tailcoat and they call this the face of someone who already knew that 
Hmm. What? A scrap of white paper sticking out of the coat pocket. Huh? Where? Where? The coat pocket! Calm down, Maya. Can't just go rummaging through people's coats. Ugh, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Can we get the scrap of paper? I guess not. Why? Oh, hello. Nick, look at all the photos lined up on the wall. It's like a guided tour of the circus's history. This is so cool! It seemed like there were so many happy memories. Maybe we should do this sort of thing at our office. We can put, put up pictures of all the clients who have been found not guilty. And what if we had a client who was found guilty? Um, we'll just pretend like they didn't exist. How's that? Good enough. Nick! Now you've got me thinking about losing cases! Why'd you do that? Seeing that, seeing that, seeing that, seeing that. Oh, hello. All well, these frames look the same. They almost look like thank you cards. Looks like every year the ringmaster made donations to charity. The Robot Clown Research Center. You're kidding, right? What? I think may be a perfectly reputable charity in the field of advanced tomfoolery. Hmm. What? Sounds like he was being scammed. Uh, I think that's everything. Move. The lodging house. At last. But we will leave that there for now. We'll see you in the next part of the investigation. Thank you all for watching this latest addition to our growing collection of varying games and reviews, just videos in general. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Please leave a like and a comment in the comments section down below. We love hearing what you think. If you have any recommendations for either games to play or material to review, let us know in the comments and we'll do our best to get to them when we can. If you like our content, subscribe to see more. Check out our playlists if you are looking for something new or worried you've missed an episode. Click on the recommended video appearing on the screen if you want to see more of us right now. You won't regret it, we swear. Subscribe to our Patreon to become one of our lovely beans today. However, if that is too expensive for you at this time, please consider a one-off donation on our Ko-fi. Help poor tea wench today. And with that, lime out. Drag it out. Bye!